Hey y'all, it's Rachel from Frugal Deals Delivered. I have my dehumidifier I just grabbed from Amazon, literally just pulled it out of the box, all set up and working. So I wanted to run through what I've found. So it has this nice little handle, which is awesome because it is really heavy to get out of the box. Like I can't even lift it up in this kneeling position. I'd need to stand up to lift it. Um, but I did grab a heavy duty dehumidifier because I want my whole basement done. So when you turn this on, the power button's right here. When you turn it on, it's gonna show you the humidity in the room. And normal humidity, it said in the instructions is between, well, your settings, you can set it between 30 to 80%. So obviously I want it way less than that, so I picked 30. You can keep hitting this, if it goes up by increments of five all the way up to 80, and then it goes back to 30. So I'm gonna set it at 30, because I want this water and moisture out, that's why I got this. Um, you can change the fan speed here, I'll let you hear the difference. It's a very quiet machine. I'm impressed with the quietness of it. You're not gonna even know it's on. Um, low is definitely a little bit lower in sound. High, honestly, it's not that big of a difference that I would complain about it at all, either way. Um, you can change the modes here. There's a couple different modes, like other than dehumidifying, but that's why I bought it. Um, and that's again how you change the humidity. You can set a timer and then you can lock it. Again, it's on wheels, so it moves like a suitcase, like one of those carry-on luggage things, super, super easy, which is nice. Um, the buckets here, you wanna make sure in the instructions um, that where you place it can hold a full bucket of water. Um, so there's that. And I'm actually, when I set it up, I'm going to um, use it with a hose because I have drain tile in the basement. This is easy to close, it's just not with one hand. <laughs> but I've done it a couple times. So the drain hose c connects right to here. Um, you just turn this off and then you just have to make sure it's gravity dependent. So the hose has to be running downward. So I have this, I actually have a different hose if this one doesn't work. Um, that it doesn't need to be this long, but since it's plastic, I can cut it. But even if it's, if you're not going down and it's not gravity enough, just set a, like a cinder block under it, a couple books that you don't care about, and you'll get the gravity dependent. It shouldn't be a problem at all, but that's what that's for. If you don't need it, then you'll just have to, um, empty the bucket once it's full and there is an emergency shut off when it is full. So you don't have to worry about it overflowing. So... Again, this is the dehumidifier. I'm super, super happy with it. It's really well made, really good quality. Um, I'm impressed with the heavy duty nature of it, how easily it moves. And the instructions were super, super easy to follow. Um, this has already started to go down when I initially plugged it in, it was 55. So, and it's only been plugged in for maybe 10 minutes. So we're doing awesome. And I definitely give it two thumbs up. I hope this video helps you.